of this whole thing. Can I just have a little chat with you? You've obviously got loads to say, and I, I wonder if I could have a quick chat with you. Do you mind if it's on camera? No. That's great. Got a, uh, can I just ask, what, what's your job? You've obviously very, you have a lot to say on this subject. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a stylist, and I dress celebrities, I do fashion, I dress real people, so every day I'm seeing bodies, probably more than anybody sees naked bodies, and, and, and I analyse them in a way that they probably don't analyse them themselves. So I'm able to actually see them, almost as a science, see them and work out what will suit them and what will fit them. With what I do, I dress people of all shapes and sizes, and it doesn't matter what what size or shape someone is, every single person has an issue. Um, I dress very, very thin people that don't know how to hide the fact they're thin because everyone presumes they're anorexic. Um, I dress people that are bigger and they don't know how to dress themselves because people think that they eat too much. So it doesn't matter whether they're celebrity, I dress celebrities, I dress real people. And it doesn't matter what size and shape you are, everyone picks at the details and focuses in on those rather than think of themselves in completeness and totality head to toe. When someone looks at you, they don't see those little details. They see you as a whole. And I think that's the important thing is being honest with yourself. And to be honest with you, if we're dressing uh, real people, it's often much easier to dress curves than it is a stick. So, you know, you've got something to hang it on. You only need to look to the vintage and to periods and to the 50s. And it's, you can see all the shapes. Clothes look great on curves. The clothes that a lot of designers make don't always look great on curves because they design them to be on sticks. So, you know, they're never going to look quite as good on a curve or with, we're educated to think they're not going to look great on a curve. So, you know, designers only make up to size 16, if that. It's very interesting to talk to you because what Body Gossip is trying to do is to tell people, to, well, to, to encourage people to work out the body that they have naturally, keep it healthy and then love it and then celebrate it. Not, not try to look like someone else. No. And, and I think in try as a part of trying to love it, that's actually understanding what suits you clothes wise. You know, everyone so especially I I I teach or I, I present at Close Show Live, three thousand teenagers. I mean it's all young girls. And even actually I was quite surprised this last year at some of the questions that you know, you always think it's larger people that have the problems in how to dress, but actually I have quite a lot of teenagers and quite a lot of young girls that are thin and don't know how to dress themselves. I've, you know, I used to work with Trini and Susanna, I've worked in What Not To Wear, I've worked with teenagers, all different ages, but a lot of teenagers that are very thin feel left out because if they're not anorexic and they don't have an eating disorder, people, if they're naturally slim, people presume they have. So actually, they can almost have as much problems as someone that does. We're kind of educated that slim equals eating disorder, fat equals eating problem, you know, that you eat too much. So I think it's a misconception that either way, that it's a problem. You know, you can be naturally bigger and you can be naturally thin. It's not always a problem. And it's learning how to love the way you naturally are and, and looking good in that, in that shape. Exactly, and dress and appreciate who you are.